In this video, I'll walk you through the steps to configure your PC to compile Marlin 2.0 firmware, and we're starting right now. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome back to the Crosslink channel. Our mission is to help 1 million people getting more successful with 3D printing. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe and enable bell notifications so you don't miss anything. So you wanna compile Marlin 2.0 on your Windows PC. Then this video is about how to set up your PC to be ready to do that. As usual, all links to external documentation and software that I'm referring to are linked in the description of this video. So first step is to install Visual Studio Code from www.visualstudio.com. Make sure you don't select any of the other options like Visual Studio Full Featured or Visual Studio for Mac. Visual Studio Code is the thing that we want. So select Download Visual Studio Code, then selecting the Windows X64 installer. Just a few quick tips while you're doing the installation. I would actually select to enable all these options like open with code for the Windows Explorer because that will make things easier later if you like to edit code files quickly or start VS Code directly from a folder as you will see. After installing Visual Studio Code, you need to launch it for the first time to make the next steps. Open the Extensions tab on the left hand side of the window. In the search field enter Platform IO and then select Platform IO IDE from the results list. Now click the Install button and wait until the installation process is finished. Don't launch any other installation at the same time and make sure you don't close Visual Studio Code until it's done installing. And there will be most probably a message at the end saying please restart Visual Studio Code or please reload the window. So let's close Visual Studio Code and open it again. After the installation is finished, click on the Extensions tab of Visual Studio Code again and search for the extension Auto Build Marlin. Install this extension by clicking Install. And now you should have Auto Build Marlin and Platform IO IDE in the list of installed extensions. Next, we want to do a final check if we can compile Marlin further with this setup. The contents of your Marlin source folder should look similar to this. Here is the platform IO ini file that indicates this is a platform IO project. Now there is two ways how you can open this project. First, you can just right click anywhere in the white space of this folder view and select open with code. You did select that option during the installation, did you? And the other way to do this is open up Visual Studio Code, then open the folder tab and click open folder and now you need to navigate to the folder where you just unpacked your Marlin sources or you have them and then select a subfolder where the platform IO ini is in and all the other subfolders and then say select folder. Now finally open up the auto build Marlin tab. That should be here in the left menu shown as a big M. And then move your mouse cursor into this upper section to make those different icons visible. So now you can either directly click the build button here in this section or first show the ABM panel, that's the auto build Marlin panel. Now, depending on the configuration that you might have, there also might be different environments available. And if there's more than one environment to select from and you hit that build button, you will also get a notification that you have to select one environment first to compile it. So for showing this, it's not really important what environment I'm using. I'm just going to show you what should happen if you click one of the build buttons. So let's use the Mega 2560 as an example. Auto build model will start the corresponding build and should come out with a success message at the end. So you're now ready to compile Marlin 2.0 on your PC. I've done a bunch of videos about how to configure and upload Marlin 2.0 for different printer models and mainboards on my channel. So check them out if you like. Thanks for watching. See you next time.